Hi, I'm from California and I'm Christopher. I'm Nick and I'm from California as well. I practiced piano for a long time since I was very young, since I was eight, I believe. I started on the accordion, but then I changed to all different kinds of instruments, guitar, violin. The real change in my uh, music career came when I started uh, writing music. I almost gave up on piano and start, until I started writing music, because then I found the real interest in music, which I thought was writing my own music. He's more of a... I would say um, instrumentalist, he puts more time into uh, playing music and you know, like his, uh, his drumming, which he's a very good drummer and he's becoming a very good guitarist. Right now we're doing a sort of like a side project band. It's, uh, it's called Warren T. The music we write actually is just our own music. We don't actually consider it part of the band. We're only, we only have the band so we can perform. There's one good thing that I do see in the Chinese industry is that they're embracing live music very quickly. And it's a good thing because the faster you embrace live music, the faster that the companies will find out there actually is profit in music. And as soon as companies find profit, they'll be able to put money back into making artists. We are totally like the outcast of the music industry right now. We're kind of out of date, like what we do. The guitars and drums are not cool anymore. You know, right now you can have a one-man band. You know, you can take all of our roles. One-man band, everything goes digital, and people like it. So what makes us different is because we're out of date. That's what I would say. It's pretty good. We play a lot of events. We play a lot of festivals and bars, and even uh, charity events. So yeah, it's good experience, I think. The thing about the Chinese music industry is that there's in the, the inter entertainment industry, there's almost no boundaries. It's not like America, you know, it's very strict as to how each, each uh, industry is. In China, it's like, it's like one big thing, you know. Everyone knows everyone, you know. Like no one who really does music is specifically doing music. Because the industry moves so fast, that if you don't adapt, you're gonna you're gonna be uh, yeah you're gonna be left behind pretty quickly, and we we noticed that when we realized that we had to be a part of social media, we had to be a part of other things outside of music, in order to be successful in music. It's it's kind of weird, but it's the truth. So so you got to be willing to adapt. In China, I think there's more we can do, and that's why we're all here because. I think this is a place that not many um, successful bands or musicians or anything that has ever happened. Like this is an, uh, this is an area, I would say a land of opportunity. Not, even, not only for foreigners, for everybody. Because in the United States, you know, and in the United Kingdom, we have so many successful bands, so many successful musicians throughout the, throughout the last, I don't know, how many decades. But in China, it's been so less. A good thing in China is that the circle is coming back to rock music, so that's a great thing for us. And hopefully, we'll part, we'll be part of that when it, uh, yeah, with that part of the movement when it comes around. We're finally figuring out things right now. We finally found a purpose that we want to, uh, we really want to focus on rock music, and we want to focus on how to help rock music in general. Well, I hope to save rock and roll's name. You know, that's a big thing that I've always tried to do. You know, I think music has always been like the vehicle to bring someone's own point of view, you know, more than the music itself, for lyric wise. You know, I hope to save rock and roll in China. Connecting with Chinese people, a lot of Chinese people are very nice and they're, 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 they're pretty smart and they, they think very differently from foreign people. So I think it's very interesting to connect with Chinese people and make Chinese friends. And uh, a lot of business opportunities in China. 
And uh, I think China, China, in terms of technology and economically more advanced than a lot of other countries give it credit for, like it's, um, it's more modern than a lot of people actually think it is. They, they, think, they still think of China as it was like 20 years ago, but that's not actually true. So I would say that um, be prepared to be, you know, mind blown, I suppose, yeah. My career plans are to, in short, to save rock and roll and to be a good role model to the kids out there. So, there you go.